Hey guys, Rusty, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Cool, hey? Hey guys, Rusty over here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to defeat every single legendary pet in Najatar to get the achievement, as well as 3,000 easy reputation. This is free reputation, guys, if you want to unlock flying as soon as possible. It's amazing that Blizzard made the most useless thing in the game actually something useful for once. Yes, I'm talking about pet battles, by the way. Anyways, these are all easy to do. You're going to need five specific pets, though. The first one is Icky, Lil Bling, Twilight Clutch Sister, the Unborn Valkyr, as well as the Zondalari Knee Biter. I am going to leave timestamps down below for each specific pet battle. So if you want to skip ahead, I am going to show where you get these. If you want to skip ahead, there will be timestamps down below where to get those. Now, Lil Bling does come from any Bling Chon, 4K, 5K, or 6K. I'm not sure if it comes from the new 7K yet. No one's unlocked yet at the time of making this video, so no one knows. Anyways, you just every day you have a chance to get it from Bling Chon. You can also buy it on the auction house if it's available. The second one is the Unborn Valkyr. It spawns in Dragon Blade. There's two places. The first one is the Forgotten Shore. It's a kind of rare spawn. I usually only see one up at a time. Anyways, if it's up, you're going to go ahead, pet battle it, and capture it. The second area it spawns is kind of northeast of Weimar's Temple. In this area here, here I, this is actually where I got my first one. Uh, the Unborn Valkyr, though, you cannot buy in the auction house. You do have to capture it. Next one for the Zondalari Knee Biter over in the Isle of Giants in Pandaria, north of Kumlai Summit. You're going to have these Zondalari Dino Mancers. You're going to want to farm those out until eventually a Knee Biter drops. They can, however, also drop things like the Ankle Renders. They can also drop another pet. I think it's like the Zondalari Foot Slasher or some shit like that. It is the Zondalari. There's the Foot Slasher right there. You don't want that. You want the Zondalari Knee Biter, which can be bought on the auction house. Next one is going to be the Twilight Clutch Sister. Head over to the Bastion of Twilight in the Twilight Highlands. And basically, this can be done in any difficulty. Kill Valiona and Therillion. They have a chance to drop the pet. And again, this pet can be bought in the auction house. Next one, Icky. Cannot be bought in the auction house. You do have to do the short quest line, which is basically do the introduction quest line for uh, Spires of Iraq. Yeah, it's that, that's right. That's what it's called, Spires of Iraq. Until you get the quest Return to Vale Terok. Once you go there, you want the quest the Kalari Whisperer. Pick that up, and that's basically going to put you on the quest to unlock Icky. Again, this is in Vale Terok. Go there. You're going to search this dude's body, and then buy this egg. This is basically Icky's egg. Now, again, I just want to repeat. Just do the intro quest until you get the quest. Return Vale Terok, and that'll put you on the path. Anyways, you click the egg. You're going to go ahead and hatch Icky. You're going to turn in that quest, and you're done with that. He's going to give you one more. Basically, you need to feed him. He, you know, he's a baby bird, right? He's hungry. Go ahead, feed him, finish that quest. Hand it in, then he's gonna fuck off. Because he doesn't like you. At least that's what you think. Once he does that, head back to Vale Terok there. And guess who's waiting? It's Icky. We'll have a quest for you. Turn it in. And that'll give you Icky as a battle pet. Simple enough. So that's all five pets. Let's get right into the battles. The first one is gonna be this eel dude here. The, was it, the Elder Spawn. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. I'm just gonna call it Elder Spawn. You want your Unborn Valkyr as well as Icky. And I believe you need to use the Knee Biter for this one. And we start off with the Valkyr. Pop Curse of Doom. This is basically going to be a four-round debuff on him. At the end of the four rounds, it'll do damage. Once you do that, pop Unholy Ascension. He's going to hit you a few times. Don't worry about it. Once you pop only Ascension, like, wow, Unholy Ascension, it's going to kill your Valkyr, but it'll also debuff him to take more damage. Once your Valkyr's dead, go ahead and summon Icky. Immediately use your Black Claw. Once you do that, basically this dude's going to put a barrier that blocks three attacks. So it's fine. Just use Flock, your number three ability. That'll get rid of that debuff or buff for him. They'll hit you. Don't worry about it. Flock will continue to happen. The big nuke from the Unborn Valkyr will go off, as you can see right here. And then finally, you could go ahead and just use Flock again, or basically it'll just continue to Flock and kill him off. First one, simple enough. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is going to be, I forgot this dude here. Basically, head over to where I am, where the Naga or where his cave is. This is going to be the crawler here, the Pearl House crawler. By the way, I'm a little upset they didn't do any SpongeBob references with these pets. You need your Unborn Valkyr, Icky, and your Twilight Clutch Sister. Again, start off with the Unborn Valkyr. He's going to put a shield on him. Use the Curse of Doom. That's going to go at just like before, four rounds. It'll eventually blow up and hit him. Then use Unholy Ascension. And as per usual, your Valkyr is going to go bye bye. Doesn't matter. You don't need it at that point. It did its job. Summon Icky, and again, Basically, most of these fights involve the Unborn Valkyr and Iggy. Go ahead, Black Claw. He's gonna look at look at him spin. How is he not getting dizzy, dude? Look at this. This this, this pet's a fucking menace. Anyways, go ahead, use Black Claw, and then use Flock. It's gonna Flock for a little bit. He's not gonna t take too much damage to start, but that's honestly not the point of this Flock. The point of this Flock is to basically put the debuff on him with this Crack Shield that increases his damage taken. 
that's the nuke going off from the onboard Valkyrie. Your Twilight Cluster is going to come in last. Once he comes in, he's going to put another shield on. Use Tail Sweep first. And after that, you can use the Twilight Meteor, your number three ability, and that's going to go ahead and finish off the Pearl Husk Crawler. Simple enough. Let's move on. Next one is going to be Silence. Weird name for a pet. I don't know. Anyways, it's going to be Silence near the Coral Reef area. Again, you want your Unborn Valkyr, Icky, and the Twilight Clutch Sister. Go ahead, start it off with the usual shit, Curse of Doom. It's going to put it on him, debuff. Then pop your Unholy Ascension. Your Valkyr will die. However, as per usual, that's going to go ahead and debuff Silence so he takes increased damage, which is exactly what you want. Once that happens, go ahead and summon Icky and take a guess what you're going to do. Start off Black Claw. He's going to hit you first. It's weak damage. You don't give a fuck. Black Claw him, pop Flock, and you're going to go ahead and put the debuff on him that increases his damage taken. Now, at this point, Silence is just going to... He's just... Goodbye, Icky. Like, see ya. That's fine, though. You got your Twilight Clutch Dragon. By the way, there's a nuke from the Valkyr. Just pop your Twilight Clutch Dragon. Now, you want to use Twilight Flame here. This is different from Tail Slash here. Go ahead and pop Twilight Flame. And he's just gonna die. Simple enough. You probably could do a tail slash as well, but I prefer just do a twilight flame since it just kills him. Now the next one is gonna be what's this guy? Chomp? Yeah, Chompy Boy here. This one took me a while to get. And this is actually one of the first ones I did because I'm stupid. And anyways, you just need the unborn Valkyr and Icky here. I don't believe you need your clutch sister. Start off unborn Valkyr. Pop your uh, basically the four round debuff thing. I already forgot the name of the ability. Then pop your unholy ascension. It doesn't matter if he crits you there because your Valkyr is gonna die here anyways. It was cursed to do by the way. After he's dead, go ahead and spawn Icky. Take a guess what you're going to pop. Go ahead, pop your Black Claw. After you throw Black Claw, he's going to eat you a little bit. Take a guess. You're going to pop Flock. You're going to charge at him. Look at those menaces, dude. They're just, they're just flocking his ass, dude. It's going to put the super debuff on him. That increases the damage taken. He's going to go fast. Again, doesn't matter even if he crits you here. At this point, the damage is done. The damage from the Valkyrie blows him up, and he's dead. That one's fairly easy. Next one, head over to this pool here where these Naga are channeling. You're going to swim down. This is a weird cave, by the way. Like, you go into this cave and suddenly you're not in the water anymore. It's weird. Anyways, all you really need here is Icky for the most part and any other two pets. Now, once you have Icky, go ahead and immediately, instead of, just use your Black Claw instead of starting on more Valkyrie. Now, this guy's going to do the first attack. If that attack hits Icky, it's going to, by the way, use um, Flock next. It will kill Icky. If it hits him, just restart. It has a very high chance to miss, though. Just restart if it hits him, though. Use Flock, and he's pretty much going to take him down to low health. It doesn't matter. He's going to kill you. Now, again, it doesn't matter what two pets you have here. Any pet is going to work. I just summoned my Unborn Valkyr. Even a very weak Shadow Slash from the Unborn Valkyr here is still enough just to finish off the Frenzy Knife thing. Simple enough. This one's really easy to do. Not the easiest, though. That one's later. Anyways, next one, head over to the Gate of the Queen to the right of it and head into this cave here. It's basically where all the Void Naga are. And head into this cave, you have one of those tiny squid boys. Like, little, 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 like, little, 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 like, tentacle boys. And it was Unborn Valkyr, Icky. That's all you really need for this one. Start the Unborn Valkyr, put on the Curse of Doom. He's basically going to start channeling the Arcane Weather. Doesn't matter. Curse of Doom him. He's, like, he's doomed. He's literally doomed. After that, as per usual, pop your Unholy Ascension. This is going to go ahead, and this is going to kill your Valkyr. Now, I do want to make you aware, summon Icky, by the way, next. There is going to be a point where you need the pass during this. As soon as Icky's out, go ahead, pop your Black Claw, and then take a guess what you do next. By the way, it's not Flock. He's going to throw up the Illusionary Barrier. Go ahead and just pass for a turn. This is going to get rid of the Illusionary Barrier. As soon as that's gone, go ahead and pop Flock. And again, this is just going to super debuff him. He's going to basically explode from the Valkyrie. He's going to do a ton of damage from the Flock. Again, it doesn't really matter if it crits there. As you can see, it crit. doesn't matter. Anyways, next one moving on to, I believe, by the way, that's where the Tide Stone is near this waterfall in this cave. You go in here, you have Kelphis, basically the dude from Stormwall Blockade. Now, you need three pets here. The Unborn Valkyr, Icky, and the Twilight Clutch Sister. As for most of these fights, start off with the Unborn Valkyr and throw on Curse of Doom. This guy does a ton of damage, dude, and he also heals for a lot, so you need to do some big boy damage. Once he does that, he's going to actually charge you after you pop your Unholy Ascension. Pop your Unholy Ascension. It's going to basically buff him, but since he killed you, your Valkyrie is actually still alive. So before it actually dies, you might as well just hit it with a quick, sh a quick Shadow Slash. After you do that, your Valkyrie is eventually going to die off. Go ahead, summon Icky again. Icky is very... Actually, not Icky. He's actually pretty desirable. As soon as he's out, go ahead, use your Black Claw. He's going to do a big boy charge and headbutt your ass. After that, just use Flock. And pretty much at this point, he's going to kill Icky. 
It's not a big deal. Again, the damage is done. The debuff is on and Black Claw and the increased damage. Once your Twilight Clutch sister is out, use a Tail Sweep. Kelp Stone? That's actually Kelp Stone. I thought it was Kelp Fist. Is going to heal himself for a lot. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This Twilight Clutch sister, he's got big buffs. This guy's got a big dick. Pop your Twilight Meteorite as the last ability. Done. Kelp Stone. Almost like Kelp is again. Goodbye. Next one. These next two are actually pretty close to each other. Near where all these uh, Tentacle Boys or Lightning Boys are. You're going to have the Shadow Spine Lurker. You need your Unborn Valkyrie as well as the Zondalari Knee Biter and a third pet. I use the Twilight Clutch Sister. Start with the Unborn Valkyrie. Use your Curse of Doom. It's going to go ahead and Doom him as per usual. Pop your Unholy Ascension. And again, you should already really know at this point what's going to happen. It's going to debuff him, take increased damage. Your Valkyrie is going to die. Not a big deal. Summon your Zondalari Knee Biter. Now, at this point, again, this dude also has Black Claw. Go ahead, pop your Black Claw, and just, just get rid of him. Now, there is he's going to put a Whirlpool on you. Doesn't matter. Pop your hunting party. They're going hunting, dude. They're out for blood. They want that crab meat. They want that shadow spike crab meat. Now, your Zondalari is going to go ahead. He's going to take him down low. And he's, you know what? He's just going to die. He's going to go out like a man. The roll is going to go off. He's a hero, but that's okay. Shadow Spine Lurker, Valkyr Dot, or Dave Debuff. Goodbye. Shadow Spine Lurker, dead. Don't even need the third pet. Now, next one is again, it's pretty close to that. Neither all the again, these uh, lightning worms. You're gonna head in here. This is the easiest out of all them, Volt Vol Gorger. This is where you want Lil Bling. Now, this dude is about to ruin this guy's economy. Pop inflation. That's it. Look, look at this. Look at this shit. You ready for this? Look at this damage. Look at this damage. Look at this. This is the first round, too. This, he's not even debuffed. This dude's annihilating the economy. He's inflating that money. He's deleting his wallet. Blingtron's dead? Nah, -uh, dude. You think you fixed the economy? Fuck that shit. Great Depression, too. He's going in, destroying the economy. Dead. Inflated. Honestly, though, it is that easy. Just pop a little bling, use inflation, you won the fight. Good job. I wish they were all that easy. Anyways, next one, head over to basically this area here. Again, where all the other Naga are, and head into this cave. And this is Prince Wiggletail. By the way, you can pause the video to look at the map if they're a little too short. You need three pets here. Unborn Valkyrie, Knee Biter, as well as the Twilight Clutch Sister. Make sure you switch Unholy Ascension, your number three ability, into Haunt. As soon as the fight starts, he's going to send the wave. Make sure you use your Shadow Slash here. I'm not sure why. Uh, you're just going to want to go ahead. Use your Shadow Slash here. I just did it. After that, use your number two ability, your Curse of Doom. It's going to debuff him. After that, take a guess what you're going to do. You're going to use your number three ability. Again, normally this is Unholy Ascension. Make sure you're using Haunt. Essentially, what your Valkyrie is going to do, it's, it's going to invade his body. It's going to possess him and just, just rip him out from the inside. Just, just destroy him from the inside. Annihilate his organs. Valkyrie is going to die. It's also going to basically gonna put a dot on him, by the way. Summon your Zondalari Knee Biter. And immediately pass a turn. The reason for that is going to put an evasion debuff on him. Go ahead and pass again. And by the time he's going to send you another wave. And by the time this wave ends, you pass two times in a row. The invasion debuff goes off. Now, normally you think you do a black claw. No, this time you actually want to do hunting party. This is going to go ahead and put the debuff just in time for the Valkyrie dot to go off. And again, he's going to get you very close to death here. 15 health. That's fine. You're going to go to second round the hunting party, and then the dot from the Valkyrie will just finish him off. Simple enough. Next one, head over to basically where all the Murlocs are. And again, they should have made a Spongebob reference right here. This should have been the Magic Conch, or just, just call him Gary, dude. Just call him Gary the Snail. Simple enough. Anyways, you need two things. Zondalari Knee Biter, the Umbor Valkyrie, actually need three things. As well as the Twilight Clutch Sister. Start off with the Knee Biter, and go ahead and pop Hunting Party. Now, your number three ability, you want to make sure it is the Blood Fang ability. As you can see, I'll use that in a little bit. He's basically going to start oozing on you, by the way, so you can't escape. Again, that crit doesn't matter. Once you do your hunting party, pop a blood fang. He's going to put a shield on himself. Essentially, your knee biter's going to do a ton of damage here, but he's also going to kill himself. He's, I don't know if I can make that joke, actually. Anyways, summon your unborn Valk here once your knee biter is dead. Pop Shadow Slash. He's going to start oozing on you, so some strong ability. Doesn't worry about that. Now, the reason why you pop Shadow Slash here and then Unholy Ascension is kind of, kind of like before you get some extra damage. It's going to kill you before you pop your Unholy Ascension, so that way when it does the Unholy Ascension, instead of killing itself, it'll be able to live for another turn, which lets you get one more Shadow Slash in here, your number one ability. It's going to do some extra damage, but you want as much damage as possible here before your Valkyr dies. After that, go ahead, summon your Twilight Clutch Sister, and this time, as soon as it comes in, go ahead and pop Tail Sweep on it. It's going to take some damage from the shield, the, sh the turtle shield, what the fucking turtle, what is this thing, a snail shield, doesn't matter. Finally, use your Twilight Meteorite, nuke it, destroy it, goodbye. Done. Next, and final pet, over in the Hydra area inside this cave here, again, this is the final pet. This one is also fairly easy to do, all you need is the Unborn Valkyr and Icky. 
kind of just like the first two battle pets. Go ahead, summon your Valkyr, use your Curse of Doom. He's gonna go ahead, he's, by the way, he's gonna put a debuff in you and increases your damage taken. And essentially, he's going to one-shot your pet. Even if that doesn't crit, he's gonna one-shot it. So pop your Unholy Ascension before that happens. And instead of, you know, just outright dying when you debuff it, you'll get one more chance to do a Shadow Slash, but you think you're gonna, you're actually gonna pass there. I forgot I did that. Just hit the pass spot and your Valkyrie's gonna die. I mean, you could do a Shadow Slash, but you don't have to. Once you do that, go ahead and summon Icky. He's going to do a Black Claw, and then take a guess. The final one, yeah, that's right. You're just going to flock and just absolutely annihilate this thing. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is a monster. Icky's a literal... I can't believe a quest from Spires of Iraq. I just called it Iraq. I called it the wrong name. Excuse me, Spires of Iraq, because that's what it is, is actually helping me... What is this? Two expansions down the line. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, that's the final pet. That is all the pet guys. Pets, guys. Wow. This is going to get you about, I think, 3,000 total rep with the Unshackled or whatever the Alliance version is. These are all really easy to do. Again, the only two pets that can't be bought in the auction house are Lil Bling and Icky. The others can be. Anyways, guys, I hope this guide helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time. By the way, I'm making one for Mechagon, too. Thank you, guys. See ya.